schools come to the career fair last Thursday? No one. <laughs> and if you look at your resume and realize that you have achieved so, so many things that you never think about. That's who I am. I was so, I was like, wow, I did this, I did that. I also did the research. How? And what made me remember the most in all the challenges that I have overcome? I remember when I first come here, I had no friends. I cannot speak or listen to English. Oh, when I come to a community college, my friend betrayed me and I come here and had no trust in anyone. And then I remember the time that I found my test here, the time that my first career fair here, and I nearly want to go suicide. I had to come to the consultant center to calm myself down. And now, when I look at my resume, I was like, wow, I really did this. I used to be so afraid of speaking in front of all the people. And now I can come up here and change my tone and change my pace and become a treasurer or vice president of public speaking. Or even I do for transfer students who I am and I raise a lot of money for them to do a lot of good things for transfer students so that they can adjust to this school. And I'm so proud of myself. And now this semester I become more happy. I realize that I should be proud of myself. I should know that I am awesome, just like Tosin. Awesome. However, he said to me, when Trump said that he doesn't want, he went about seven countries coming here, well, it doesn't affect me. But I know one friend who come to me. She also be the reason as I am. And she was afraid that she's not going to get the job here. Because it's way harder and harder to get the H1B visa. And I know that. But I tell her, you should come down. Well, this challenge, if, not, if this challenge is not coming, the other challenge is going to come. So you should come down. She's thinking about marry one man here and get the and get the green card, which a lot of people do. And they say, you know, I do think about that last semester after my first career fair when I think I'm gonna suicide and I think about marrying one man. This was really ironic. But if you step back and imagine you are watching a movie and seeing yourself in that film. And if you think, if you see yourself trying so hard, failing again and again, and finally become a chemical engineer in the US, and then you see another movie when that smart girl thinking about getting married so that she get she came easier to get the job here, who you admire more? Why are we in the film? You think you have all the possibility. And you get admired by the girl who failing and failing over again and get the job. But here, you think that you're being more, um, you're being more conservative, you're being more careful with your product, and then you get doubtful with yourself. Why? Why is that? Why don't you just, why don't you just believe in yourself? I remember the first time I, I look at that girl and I see her taking six classes in here and was telling her that you cannot do it, for sure you cannot do it. But then she do it. She got all A for those classes and we get a prime at her. I tell her why? Why after only one year? And you get so upset about that. If you look and ask her, if you look at your resume and see everything you do, looking back, where you was at that time, you will see yourself that it's so much challenge and you cannot overcome it. And now, when you look back, when I look back, when I think about it, come up here and talk to people, when I think I'm going to get A's in all my chemistry classes, I was like, well, that was simple and easy. It was not that bad as I thought. So if you come here and you still see a challenge, just remember one thing that Taylor Swift said. In the future, when you look back, everything now is just easy.